Hey, and good morning. My name is Elda, and we are at Elderberry Farms, and I am just getting on to let you know what's been going on here at Elderberry Farm and tell you a little bit about my husband and I. Uh, we came from California, a little a town in Ventura County called Oxnard, and we moved here about a year and a half ago to Washington, a little um, community just outside of Gig Harbor. They're, they're telling on me. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you that in a minute. And um, we, we bought some property. We moved over here and we kind of accidentally started a farm. Um, not really intentionally starting one. We just kind of thought, hey, chickens would be a good idea. And um, it's kind of just starting to grow little by little from there. And uh, so I have started this YouTube channel and in hopes to actually, to, I started it to kind of connect with my family still in Ventura County and, and Los Angeles County. And just to kind of show our little adventure and what we're learning and what we're doing and uh, here at Elderberry Farms. And the reason we call it Elderberry Farms is kind of a playoff of my name. My name's Elda and um, my friends would always call me Elderberry. So we just kind of thought, hey, it's a natural progression. We'll call it Elderberry Farms. And we actually did buy some elderberries and we're going to plant them to make it official. So. Uh, Right now, we have this new little thing happening here that you can hear in the background. We actually hatched some chicks from our chickens that we, you know, our chickens are laying eggs. We had three roosters. They were doing great, and we thought, hey, let's try this. And so we hatched some chicks, and they were born, some of them were born yesterday. Some of them are still in the process of being born. But let's see if you can see. They're so cute. Aren't they cute? Can you see that? It's kind of a glare. Here's one, and let's see, there's another, and oh, look at this one, he's so cute, little black one, I've got actually four black ones now, and then there's this little one that's kind of, kind of like, nope, 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 can't do it, he's halfway, I don't know if you can see that, but he's got a little, well, there, he's getting run over, um, cracked shell but not really he's been like that since yesterday so hopefully everything's good and he'll be out with us shortly so right now we're gonna go outside and see what my husband is doing because he's been busy making a brooder to move them to you know like a new little home for them for the next few weeks and then um, they will join a, a bigger brooder that I had made myself with my own little hands it's a little chicken tractor and it's great for start, starting chicks in and it's more outdoor and so hopefully by that time it'll be warming up more um, here because it's been kind of overcast. We had a couple of nice days and um, and then it just kind of got cold at night. We're, we're almost past our last frost date and so what we do here is I do gardening. Um, we're starting a little farm. I still work. Um, right now with this whole COVID thing going on, I haven't been working, so it's allowed me time to be here at home on the farm, helping my husband, getting things, and it's actually been really nice not to, not to have to work right now. However, we do need money, so hmm, yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to get back to work soon, God willing. So anyways, I know you guys are, um, a lot of you are in the same boat as I am. I actually am a nurse. Um, I did ICU for 13 years and then when we moved up here I changed I changed over to um, gastroenterology and work for a clinic there or here now so that's been that's been a whole learning curve for me too and I'm not a spring chicken so I mean I'm in my 50s and um, yeah so it's been it's been fun this is our little adventure lots of changes and you new um, state new city a new property we don't even have a house yet we're living in our fifth wheel and we're uh converting the existing what you're going to see right now my husband he's building in the garage we're going to change that to a house because it's two stories and it's going to be converted this year and we'll go over all that as i'll show you that that progression as it goes starts to go and we'll have to build a pole barn for our stuff and so yeah there's lots of things coming up I will be sharing with you and my family and so if you like what you're seeing or you're kind of curious about what we're doing please like and subscribe and we'd love to have you aboard and so let's go outside and see what he's doing hey baby what are you doing hey I uh, I'm making a brooder for these new chicks that we just hatched and uh, so we're pretty excited about that we picked up a uh, one of the kind of a heavy-duty yellow 
36 by 42 um, uh, storage tote down at Homey Depot. And uh, what I did is I took the storage tote lid and I took it off and then I cut out a 16 and a half by 32 inch opening in the top. And then I'm just, it's real simple. And then I'm screwing the, uh, screwing the lid on right here, the hardware or the hardware cloth onto the lid so that it gives us access both to keep an eye on the chips. Also it protects them from, you know, rats and whatever else might try to get to them. And uh, so anyway, I'm almost done with it and it's just about uh, ready to go. We're going to put it to use shortly. Cool. All right. So there you go. We did the brooder. Uh, it's actually in the, <laughs> we're going to be living with the three little weenie dogs and I don't know how many chicks yet, but we'll see for a little while in this little fifth wheel. So yeah, pray for us and um, happy to have you aboard. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, video and we will be back uh, making more soon. Thanks.